So question, does anybody know why the bathroom gets so unorganized so quickly? I cannot figure it out. We're gonna handle that today. We are going to be organizing and decluttering my bathroom. We are gonna start in here by doing all the drawers and cabinets and then moving out to the linen closet to handle that area. So today will be very satisfying for me and hopefully inspirational and motivational for you to tackle your bathroom. So that's today's game plan and let's go ahead and tackle this bathroom. So the first thing I like to do is to make sure my space is clean before I actually organize and declutter. So I'm just going to start by putting everything away and creating a clean space to work in. And my lovely fiance is so sweet, he brought me a peanut butter banana smoothie to drink while I was working. So the first area we are going to work in is this top drawer. And this is the drawer that I keep everything in that I need easy access to. So toothbrushes, toothpaste, floss, um, lip gloss, hair ties, anything like that. So I'm going to remove everything, vacuum and wipe out the drawer and then put it back into a nice orderly fashion while also decluttering anything that doesn't need to be in there. Next, we're gonna work on the second drawer and in this drawer is where I keep all the products that I use on the daily. So I have all of my face products, sunscreens, and anything that I use well, on the daily. So I wanna wipe it out because this always gets messy and I'm also gonna declutter and organize um, the products and make sure I still use everything, that nothing has expired and put back anything that I'm currently not using and keep it as organized as possible. It always amazes me how products just accumulate in this drawer and before I know it, it's overflowing. So I'm actually constantly going through this and keeping it as minimal as possible. In this bottom drawer is where I keep all of our hair tools that we use most frequently and hair always collects, so of course vacuum it out and start fresh. But it's so nice to only keep the few tools that I use every day in here and keep all my extra tools in a separate spot. This cabinet right beside our vanity has really come in handy for extra storage. So in this bin right here, I have all of our like bubble baths and products that guests can use. And then on the bottom shelf, we keep our first aid kit in this little container here. And then on the other side, we keep all of our extra products, extra Q-tips, extra tooth toothbrushes and toothpaste and things that we just need to have in the bathroom. This also works great when we have guests over because if somebody forgot a toothbrush, I have them right there for them. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but this under the sink just gets so messy so fast. I feel like I'm constantly organizing this and making sure it doesn't look a mess. So on the left hand side, I am working on the drawers that store my makeup. And I just got these drawers from the container store. I think they're actually considered like a shoe box. Um, they come in handy because they actually have dividers. And I love these drawers. They are a lifesaver. So I have makeup brushes and then I have one for makeup and then I have one for like hair accessories and tools. So highly recommend if you're looking for something to store your makeup in and organize it so that way you can find what you're looking for. I don't know what I would do without these. So for the middle and the right hand side, I use these little clear containers that I got from Target. I think they're actually used like in a fridge, but they work really, really well for products as well. So I just organize it by the type of product. I have one for like perfume, one for lotions, one for hair products, and it makes it super easy when I'm trying to find what I'm looking for. And when you do these deep cleans, be sure that you are being really diligent and get rid of any products that you don't use. Do not hold on to things that you do not use. Alrighty, we have made it to Sawyer's side of the sink and his side is a f it's an ongoing project. I really need to rework this. But on the left-hand side, I have a little bin of his hair tools and hair brushes that he constantly uses. And then in the little container next to that, I have all of his products that he uses on a daily. And then I have these stackable drawers. In the top one, I keep all of his razors with the cords and little blades. And in the bottom one is where I keep all of his extra products that he doesn't use too often. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better. Now I am not done, but this is already the products that I have decluttered and I'm gonna let my mom go through this and see if she needs anything, but whew, I'm already so proud. So we have successfully finished the bathroom and now we're gonna work on the front linen closet. So fun fact, this is actually the only storage in the house, so I really have to keep this dialed in, otherwise it could quickly get out of hand. So on the top shelf is where I store all of the paper towels, toilet paper, and garbage bag. And then in this bin is where all my extra cleaning tools are. So we have like Swiffers and mop pads and steamers. Anything that has to do with cleaning goes in this bin. This closet has truly taught me <laughs> not to overbuy 
buy because I can only keep so much. So in this bin is where I keep all my back stock of beauty products like cotton pads, toothpaste, women products, anything like that. It all goes in that bin. And whenever I do my yearly organize and declutter, I always go through my towels very thoroughly. I always make sure to get rid of anything that has holes, stains, rips, tears, anything like that. Just get rid of it and donate it. And just a little cleaning tip, whenever you clean a closet, make sure you remove everything from the bottom and be sure to thoroughly clean the bottom of the closet. The dust that collects just amazes me. And then on the left hand side of this closet is where I store all of my cleaning tools, mops, brooms, and vacuums. This only took me 15 minutes and it looks so much better. Now we don't have a lot of space in this house so I had to get really creative when it came to all my extra products. So my mom had the great idea of ordering this pantry can organizer and it's worked wonders for me. I honestly don't know what I would do without it. So I found it easier to organize it by the type of product. So I had like skincare products and then I had hair products in the middle and the very bottom was like extra body lotion. And part of my yearly organize is to really go through this and make sure these are products that I'm actually going to use. If I hadn't tried it in a year, then I get rid of it. There is no better feeling than this front closet being organized. I feel so accomplished. Now the last thing I'm going to do is put any of the makeup products that I haven't used back into my beauty drawers. That feels so much better knowing that every inch of the bathroom and linen closet is gone through, organized, and decluttered. It's amazing what just like adds up in these drawers, in these spaces. So definitely take some time and go through your bathroom and linen closet. Trust me, you'll be so thankful, especially when you see the pile to donate. It's a great feeling. Now, in case you feel like you need some deep cleaning motivation and inspiration, feel free to click this video here and start your new year now.